Well, a new survey says the state of nonprofits in Illinois is worse than ever. And it's all because of the lack of the state budget. Capitol Bureau Chief Matt Porter live from the state capitol. Matt, what are we learning from the survey? Well, the number of organizations that have had to make cuts to stay open have more than tripled since July. And if the budget goes through March, respondents to the survey said some may have to close permanently. It was a panicky time before I found Mercy and, and my lease was up in two or three weeks and I wasn't sure what I was going to do. Get vitamins and minerals because those are going to be essential. For At the Mercy bodies. Communities, Shanice Neal went from potentially ending up on the street to finding affordable housing for her and her two children. It's amazing to come home and unlock my door and it is my house and I know where all of my things are and my children know where their things are. But organizations like Mercy are dealing with drought drastic shortfalls in revenue. That's because most haven't received any of the millions of state money that usually flows into nonprofits each year. They are losing staff who are well trained and it's coming to a point where some may not be able to keep their doors open. In a United Way survey, almost nine out of ten nonprofits say they've made cuts to client services. A quarter of them say they'll struggle to stay open through March. Mercy says the 26 families it serves would have few options if they closed. Even probably tripled up places so the children would be moving around all the time at different places from friends to family or actually be homeless on the street or in their cars. Shanice Neal said she's shocked about the state's lack of support. <laughs> you have a program that is really helping people and not just shoving them on their way hoping they'll do better. You can't not fund those programs. Well, many people will be here tomorrow to protest the lack of a budget as the governor prepares to give his second State of the State address here in Springfield. Live in Springfield, Matt Porter, WCIA3, your local news leader. All right. Thank you, Matt. Now